You know, we have a history around 360 AD where the church fathers made a decision to separate from the Hebraic roots of the faith. Shortly after that, our history tells us that the church went into a dark age. We are now going into a season of light. The Apostle Paul is known for his unique teaching about the olive tree. He was speaking to non-Jewish believers about being grafted in. The thing that's interesting about this concept is that the sap determines what the branch that is grafted in will actually produce. Wild olive branches actually produce wild olives which have very large pits and very little meat and produce very little oil. But when we're born again, we are cut off our old nature. We are cut off from the old olive tree and we are literally grafted into the root of God. So when Paul was teaching us about being grafted in, it's a covenant act. And that's what you and I are doing right now. We are being grafted in, in our hearts. We are moving into a season of revelation where light is coming, power is coming, and anointing is coming. The largest harvest of souls in the history of the world is coming because we are operating in the covenant power of the one new man. When we were involved with humanitarian aid projects, we were bringing in literally millions of dollars of humanitarian aid into the nation of Israel. And I was meeting with then finance minister, who is now prime minister, Benjamin Netanyahu. He said to me one evening after we were visiting, Kurt, it's wonderful that the Christians are supporting us with humanitarian aid, but if you could bring us jobs, allow us to be able to have jobs and also take care of our own poor, which would allow us to have that dignity, I would be interested in something like that. But when I went into Amos 9-11 and it talked about the restored tabernacle of David, these Gentiles who are called by my name do this thing and they actually plant oil trees, olive trees in the land of Israel. I knew that you and I had a covenant responsibility to be able to help Israel in a unique way. I'll never forget, I was at a conference in Chattanooga. A pastor came up with his wife and they had a piece of paper and, and uh, some cellophane over the paper and there, there was an olive branch in it. They said, Rabbi, do you see what this is? And I said, yeah, I said, it's an olive branch. She says, no, it's not just any olive branch. She says, this is an olive branch from my tree in Israel. She was saying, I'm not sure if I'm ever going to go to the land of Israel, but I know that my tree is in the land of Israel. And, and you should have seen the, the fulfillment and the hope in her eyes and in her heart. Now she gets to leave a legacy. Her tree is gonna produce food and oil and jobs for the children of Israel. And it was a place of fulfillment for this couple. When you plant a tree in the nation of Israel, this is spiritual. It's a covenant act where you say, you say to God, I am this day returning to my root. I am canceling all those decrees and covenants that were made at the councils of Elvira and Nicaea during this, the period of Constantine. I renounce those in the name of Jesus and I return to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jesus came to remove that middle wall of separation to create in himself one new man from the two. I want to send you this prayer shawl. And almost in a type of a baptism, I want you to be able to take this shawl and I want you to be able to pray. Anytime that you have a need, you as a Christian, you can put this over your head just as a reminder that in Psalm 91, that you are covered under the shelter of his wing. It's a place where, where you can come and wrap your own fingers up into the teat season, the ways of God and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, 
I have a real need. I'll never forget I was going into the Ukraine to minister. There was a bishop that was there and he was under so much stress that his spleen actually had exploded. And as we were driving in the little car fast through the streets, when we got to this hospital, it was so interesting because the hospital was cold and there was no elevator. We had to go up these steps and they didn't allow us to go into his room, but they wheeled him out for us to see his wife, Natia, was there. I looked at him and he was laying there unconscious. And the Lord said, I want you to take your tallit and I want you to put it over him. And as I put this over him and I wrapped his hands with the tzitzi, and we prayed over him, he was awakened. The Lord had me speak a special word over him, calling him God's man. And as he wept, and he was hanging on to God, it was such a beautiful picture of God's grace. I'm just proud to be able to say he is 100% healed. He has been delivered from all sickness and all disease. And we just praise the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that he is, he is our healer. We want to send you this prayer shawl that you understand that you are a covenant child of Abraham. You are a part of the nation of Israel. Not only have you taken root in Israel, but Israel has taken root in you. You know, in Isaiah chapter 10, it says it's the anointing oil that destroys the yoke off the necks of all believers. I was in a conference and there was a man there and I called him out of the service with a prophetic word and I asked him to come forward, he and his wife. And I asked him, I said, can I pour some of this anointing oil on your head? And as I opened the bottle and I took the oil and poured a few drops on his head. And as I did, the man was overcome by the Spirit of God and ended up on the floor. Later, he told me, he said that he had had a visitation. When he did, some angels came and angels poured oil on his head. He said the oil that was poured on his head in this vision was the same color as this Exodus 30 oil and also had the same unique aroma. This oil comes from our olive trees. All the ingredients according to the Bible. There's nothing magic in the oil or in the prayer shawl, but the fact that they have returned at this time, it's no different than this symbol returning at this time where Christians and Jews come together, form a nation, and be form a witness to all the nations of the earth that the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is not a man that he should lie. He is a covenant-keeping God. At my olive tree, we bring the gift that keeps on giving. Every year, God, Lord willing, we are going to have a harvest of olives and oil that will bless this nation for years to come. You know, Jesus said it this way, you'll know a tree by its fruit. And as you're planting this tree, this is good fruit. I also want to send you a certificate of authenticity. You know, we have some friends that live close to us and they have purchased a tree for every one of their family members. I'll never forget when uh, this precious couple said, Kurt, we want you to come over to our house. We want you to see something. And I went in their house, it was newly remodeled, and I saw all these certificates going up the staircase. I thought, wow, look at these non-Jewish Christians, these Gentiles who are believers in Jesus Christ, not just with lip service, but with action. If you would like to take a covenant root in Israel by sponsoring a tree and creating a perpetual reminder that you are grafted into the root of God, please contact my olive tree at 800-334-3132 or visit us online at myolivetree.com. When you sponsor an olive tree, we will send you an anointed tallit that was made in Israel for your personal prayer time. This tallit will serve as a constant reminder that the Lord is your covering and under His wings you will find refuge. We will also send you our exclusive Exodus 30 anointing oil, the King's Oil, that is made with olive oil from Israel. The King's Oil is a beautiful symbol and a powerful tool that with prayer can break the yoke of bondage. And most importantly, you will also receive a signed certificate of authenticity that you can frame and display in honor of your sponsorship and the covenant root you have been grafted into. Thank you so much for sponsoring an olive tree, for blessing Israel, and for being an active part of the one new man.